We would love a dry health nurse is on administrative leave because of inflammatory posts on her Facebook page. Members of the LGBTQ community tell nine on your side they are outraged this evening. Good evening, I'm Craig McKee. Thank you so much for joining us. Tanya O'Rourke is off tonight. A Cincinnati City Council member is now calling for people to boycott Tri Health as long as that nurse is allowed to treat patients. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilly joins us in the newsroom right now with what experts say needs to happen next. Kristen? Yeah, well, Craig, a Tri Health nurse is on leave after homophobic and transphobic comments that have members of this community questioning her ability to treat patients equally. Advocates say this is why education is so important. In hospitals, you're not sure who you're going to get. Tristan Vaught leads diversity training across the Tri State. These Facebook comments by a Tri Health nurse were disappointing, but not a surprise. This is the reason why transgender people don't feel comfortable going to the doctor. I looked and, you know, they were horrific. They were denying that transgender people exist. It was those kinds of concerns, in part, that led Chris Ciccinelli and his wife to found Living With Change, where Vaught works. There's still so much that needs to be talked about. Chickenelli's daughter is trans. His family knows the impact medical care can have. Pure Romance founders also pledged $2 million to create a center for excellence for LGBT health and increased services at Cincinnati Children's. We did this because, you know, there are people that are going to have this opinion or have this belief, and we want to make places safe for not, you know, 99% of people, but 100% of people. While everyone we spoke to agrees training is important, Cincinnati City Council Member Chris Seelbach wants the nurse who made these comments removed or reassigned. We tried to reach her by phone and at her home. With no luck. I don't think she can. She can treat patients. Yeah. Uh, with the comments that she's made, I don't think she can treat patients any longer. Now, Tri Health released a series of statements today. The latest one says the nurse has been placed on leave for her safety and the safety of others, saying in an internal memo, everyone is entitled to reliable and compassionate care. Craig. All right, Kristen Swilly reporting the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Kristen. And at this time, WCPO is not identifying the nurse in this case because Tri Health's investigation is still underway. And because of that statement from Tri Health that Kristen just mentioned, suggesting there are concerns about the nurse's safety. It's a story we will continue to follow, though.